Hello, today I'd like to show you uh, a new feature in our Flow application. Uh, with, our, with the new agent, Shiny for our module, you can create Shiny modules that can be easily integrated in your application. Let me show you how to do it. So uh, let us generate uh, a module. Uh, the, the prompt is a bit longer. That's because um, we want to specify it a, a bit more. Well, we get the, the application. So we got the UI, we got the server, and then we have the app. We can check if the app it looks like, like the thing that we would like it to look like. Okay. So uh, let us cho choose first column and choose the second column. Okay, mm -hmm. interesting. I don't know uh, what's going on exactly, but let's check whether this filtering actually works. So let's say that one only HP or 100, yes, or below. Cool, so it works. And let us get back to the code. And we see that um, we can that the UI created for data filtering selects uh, some column and based on this column, it applies this condition um, and yeah, filters by this value. And it's like data agnostic. And we only use empty cars here. So, well, let's add it to our application. We can go to the documentation and see how to whoop, actually use it in, in our code. So once we deploy it on, on GitHub GIST, the, the module, we can use it like that in our application. What do, we, what do I mean by that? So let's come back to the generated module. Let's deploy it on to GitHub. Okay, share it on GitHub, perfect. Let me open it in a new tab. Perfect. Let me copy the link and we go to VS Code. Uh, so let me create our module and it will be DevTools uh, source URL. This is what we will source. Uh, we'll create shiny application. Maybe let's use the application from here. So this application uh, with UI and server, just like that. Okay, copy paste. Let let's re rename it, and maybe uh, let us switch data. So okay, so we are use we are passing here the data send and here let's pass uh, iris instead okay copilot also suggests is to pass here and change here um okay and now command s and let's run the app um uh, okay here we should also add value Oh, it should be source gist instead of source URL. And uh, here we should call directly to, because we are not polluting our namespace with loading this gist. So we have to use directly from this uh, module we should use um, the UI and server. Okay, and now let's run the app. Whoop, whoop, terminal, hop. Okay, let me open this. And we have the app and we were able to include in our code, we are able to include something generated with flow. And uh, well, I believe that this is the approach that uh, helps integrating LLMs in your applications because um, 
it's it's not great to always generate apps from the scratch, right? But it's it, you, you prefer to work on, on the app and extend it. And with this approach, with generating shiny modules, you can extend your existing app by integrating new shiny modules. And of course, you can open this link, um, open this link and just copy this code to your project so you you're not dependent on the gist thanks